Are you excited? Are you excited about what you're doing? Most people are excited about the weekend. They're excited about three months or six months or next year, you know, especially now during this whole crazy time that we're in. They are so excited about what will come, but they are not doing the work. You are not doing the work that you need to do today to be excited. You're never going to wake up every single morning just ready to attack the day. It's not going to happen. You need to create a schedule. You need to create a routine. You need to do the work to make sure that every single day you are doing something that makes you excited. You can call it excitement or passion or drive or obsession or whatever you want, but excitement will take you so much further than almost any other emotion. Because when you are excited about something, you're you're looking forward to it, you're imagining it, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're all fired up, you're inspired, you cannot wait for the chance to do that thing. And, you know, too often we get excited about the things that's three or four days from now or two or three months from now or whatever it might be. You know, we're excited about the new things. We're excited to go out to that restaurant when it opens. We're excited to try, um, you know, climbing a hill or going for a hike or going on vacation or, you know, me, my, my son, uh, who, who's 12, uh, I just got him a dirt bike. I just got myself uh, a, a new dirt bike so we can go dirt biking together. And he's been looking forward to this forever. And the other day when I brought the new dirt bike home for myself and, and we're riding around in my backyard, he is, we're excited for the opportunity in a few days to be able to go out together because it's new and it's different and it's uh, something that we're looking forward to. And so we, you know, me, you, we work really hard at trying to create the interesting moments in our life or the, or the milestone moments in our life or the things that we can look forward to and get excited about because in between, if we don't, you know, life just gets so drab and it gets so boring and so we spend a lot of time, people spend a lot of time and a lot of energy dreaming up and thinking about all the things that they can do and then trying to make it happen so they can get excited about something. You need to do that work every day so that way you're excited about today. You need to do that every day so you're excited about the, the opportunities and the possibilities and the things that you're doing today to help you hit your vision, to hit your goal, to drive forward. Everyone else is busy getting excited about the things that pull them away from their life that don't really matter because their days are so drab and dull and boring. And when you look at the people who are doing the most extraordinary things and you look at what they're doing and you look at the challenges and you look at the successes and you think how exciting that is, it's probably not daily. Their life as much progress as they made would be drab and dull and boring as well if they didn't work to make sure that they brought excitement in the things that they're doing. It's not just going to happen. You got to make it happen for yourself. And so there are days where I am not excited to show up to work. It is not fun. It's not fun. I'm doing stuff that I don't want to do. I'm doing stuff that I don't like doing. Nobody talks about that. We don't talk about the three days in a row where, you know, or the seven hours that I need to spend working on a document. Nobody talks about that because it's not exciting. So, you, so people think that, that people like me or others only do exciting things. We only move from exciting thing to exciting thing, and that's not the case. But if I have three or four days in a row of that, if it's happening to me all the time, if I really don't like what I'm doing, if you don't really like what you're doing, you are not going to bring passion or drive or courage you're not gonna you're not gonna think big you're not gonna be bold you're not gonna say yes because it's just like life is so boring you, you it's mediocre it's just you just don't like it there's nothing different there's no excitement to it it's bland and so for me and for you you have to do the work to figure out what brings you excitement you have to do the work to figure out how you can inject that into your day and you need to, to come to terms with the fact that it's going to change, right? The exciting thing for you today, in three weeks, you did it every single day, it's not gonna be exciting anymore, right? It's gonna become normal. That really exciting meal, right? Like let's say that you got the most, uh, the, the most exotic, expensive, 
coolest meal delivered to your place right now and you're just like you open it up it smells so good you take that first bite you're like oh my goodness oh like what would that be for me i've been on keto for a long time um maybe like chocolate chip cookies (laughs) so anyway you bring this stuff in and it's the most amazing thing ever but you know you eat a lot of it and you get full of it and then a few weeks later you're eating it again and again and again a few weeks later you're like this is terrible you don't want that anymore you want something different you want change you want it to be different So you need to bring the excitement to your life. You need to realize that it's always going to change and you need to work on accepting that change and bringing it into your life. So for me, I wake up and I know that if I get up in the morning, doesn't matter the time, uh, I've been waking up at 6 a.m., 6.30 recently. I used to get up at 4.45. doesn't really matter the time, but I know that I need my morning routine, 20 or 30 minutes to just work through transitioning to what the day is going to be. So I look at my calendar. I check my, I check my emails. I know people don't do that. I check my emails and then I put on a podcast and I just start to absorb the people that inspire me, the people that interest me. Um, I put on a book. I put on an audible book. Like right now I'm working through Ray Dalio's principles. And so I'll listen to that and I won't really think about the work ahead, but I'll just start to listen to that. Make my coffee. I'll take the dog out. I just give myself a half an hour. And then, and then I decide, what does my day actually look like? Like, let's really look at my calendar. And if it's a day that looks fun, my job is done. I'm already excited. I'm already excited to be able to attack that thing or hit that thing or do that thing. Um, If there's an hour at 3 p.m. that I can't wait to get to because, you know, like uh, I'm going to be able to jump on a podcast episode with Evan Carmichael. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited about that. Or you know what, today's the day that I'm going to really challenge myself on my run. Amazing. Let's do that. Or tonight I get to do this with my kids. Whatever it is, whatever it is, what's exciting me today? But more often than not, it's not coming that easy to me. More often than not, I actually have to work to get excited about something because I know in between those few exciting things are some tough work, tough conversations, uh, two or three hour projects where I got to dig in and I don't want to do it. And so for me, I put on music. I start to think, what can I do to really attack this? And then I decide whether that thing that I'm doing, that I have to do, that I should do, whether it's actually driving me forward or not. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to do it. I know I have to do it. I know I should do it. But is it actually driving me forward towards my goals? And if I'm not really excited about it and I'm doing it time after time after time, chances are I've never taken a cold, hard look at whether it's actually helping me get to my goals or not. And so I look and I go, you know, at this three hour thing that I have to do, do I have to do this today? Do I have to do it today? Is it more important than something else I could be doing that's exciting to me, that that feeds my soul, that actually helps me go one step closer towards my purpose. And you know what, honestly, if if all of those questions line up where I go, you know what, I, I, it's better off actually if I don't do this two or three project or hour project today, but instead do it tomorrow. Because today, rather than me think about all the things I could be doing, I'm going to do it tomorrow when I'm in a better headspace. When, uh, it's not that I'm gonna be more excited about it, but I can't spend the third day in a row doing stuff that doesn't excite me. I need an injection of progress. I need to build some momentum. I need some excitement. And so now you're gonna say like, Mark, you're telling me to procrastinate? That's not good advice. Who, which which person tells someone to procrastinate? Nobody does that. Everyone says attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it. But here's the thing, if you're, if, if, if you're putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off forever, um, and you're letting people down, well, then that's something you have to look at. But if it's the difference between you having the third or fourth day in a row where it's not exciting and it's not fun and you're not making progress and you're not building momentum and you're not doing the important things that you need to do and you can't fix your business or you can't fix your life or you can't fix your schedule so that way you don't have to do these things all the time, then I'm suggesting that you will attack that thing with with more uh vigor more whatever if you've just come off of the most amazing day of doing exciting things and so right now in my schedule this morning i was supposed to work 
on scoping out a project for a client. And when I spoke to them last, I said I'd get it to them before the end of the week. The end of the week for when I'm recording this is tomorrow. So I was supposed to do it this morning, but I thought, I'm not sure if I really want to spend an hour and a half focusing on this because I have more important things to do. Um, I'm not really feeling called to do this right now. So I'm not sure if I would bring my most creative or best self to it. And on top of that, I have these other things that help drive my purpose forward, like recording these videos. I have these other things that I'm just much more excited about attacking that I feel better for having done and makes me feel more confident, um, makes me uh, feel like I'm making progress and I'm doing amazing things. So think about this. Whether I did this this morning and I pushed my way through and then went on with the rest of my day, or this morning I did the things that fed my soul and got me excited and all of those other things and went through my day. Which, which version of me will have a better day, do you think? Which version of me is going to bring more energy to the next thing? When I'm, when I'm done this and I'm on to the next thing I'm working on, you know, I'm going to do 12 things today, 12 important things today. Is it going to be when I'm slogging through something or is it going to be when I've had that exciting day? when I'm setting off right, when I'm feeling good, when I'm building confidence, and then I'm moving on. You know the answer. And so, yes, tomorrow I do need to work on that. It's no longer an option for me to push it off. It's something that I have to do. But here's what I'm gonna do tonight. Tonight, this afternoon, I'm gonna start thinking about it. And I'm gonna get comfortable with the fact that I have to do it, Um, that I get to do it, that I get to help the client, that this is something that must be done tomorrow because I made a promise to them and it's important that I live up to my promises. And so I don't know if I'm going to get excited about it or not, but I'm going to put on some music. I'm going to book the time. I'm not going to be interrupted. And I'm going to do like an amazing job. And by the end, I'm going to feel great for having done it. Just like exercising, just like dieting, just like lots of stuff that you don't really want to do. But after you do, you know, you feel great because you crushed it. And so I challenge you. I challenge you not to only be excited about the thing that you're going to do next weekend or in two or three weekends. I challenge you not to only live your life with with these big gaps of mediocrity and dullness and boringness and routine and same things because excitement is only the thing that you reserve for dreams or for outside work or what have you. I challenge you to try and look at your days, your morning routines, your days, what you think, how you go to bed, who you speak to, to to inject, to kick some energy, some excitement into your work, into your business, into your career, into your life, into whatever it is you're doing. Because excitement, more so than anything else, it turns into obsession. It turns into passion. It turns into momentum. And so it's not going to just happen. It's not going to just come to you. This is something that you need to work on. This is something you need to put into your life and and do it. Do it three or four days in a row and you come back and tell me that you're not feeling better about things, that you're not making more progress, that you're not more productive because that excitement, the, the wind at your back, the wind in your sails is carrying you through all of the other down times. Come on. Do it and you tell me it's not working. Now, if you liked this video, and I know you did, check out this one right here. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you over there.